Construct a minimal DFA that accept all binary numbers which are divisible by 5. So as we have seen in our earlier lecture that we construct a minimal DFA that accept all binary numbers which are divisible by 5. In the similar way we will make a minimal DFA with the help of transition table. With the help of transition table. So for one transition, sorry for zero transition, for one transition and we start with the initial state S0 because this is initial state that's why we make a star and we write like this S0 S1 and S1 for S1 state S2 S3 and S2 state S4 S5 then S3 state S6 then again S0 and S4 S1 S2 and for S5 S3 S4 then for S6 S5 and S6 because 7 is a prime number so there will be no repetition why we write like this suppose uh, we start with 0 so whenever as it is 7 we want a number which is divisible by 7 so what remainder we can have either we can have 0 either we can have 1 if it is perfectly divisible by 7 then what we will get we will get 0 remainder if not then either we will we will get 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 remainder this can be the possibility that's why we have the same number of states s not when it is perfectly divisible by 7 s1 when we get one remainder s2 when we get two remainder s3 when we get three remainder s4 when we get four remainder s5 when we get five remainder and s6 when we get six in the remainder in the similar way it will reach to these states so how we can understand it more clear if we have zero so it will be on s naught and we also make it as a final state for if we get one remainder then it will reach on s1 if we have one zero it means two in the form of binary then it will reach on s2 if we have one one means three remainder then we will reach on s3 state if we have one zero zero then we will reach on s4 state if we have one zero one remainder then we will reach on s5 state if we have one one zero six remainder then we will reach on s6 and whenever we get seven or the multiple of seven then we always reach, reach on always reach on s naught so we can make a diagram with the help of this transition table so this is the simplest method so how many states will be there because it is divisible by 7 so how many states we are having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 how many number of states 7 so this is the minimal dfa that accept all binary number which are divisible by 7 now move to the next similar thing construct a minimal dfa that accept all binary number which are divisible by 6 divisible by 6 so so in the similar way we can make a transition table for zero transition for one transition start with the initial state s not because this is initial state that's why we make a star on it so start with is s not s1 s2 s3 
एस फोर एस फाइव बिकॉज इट इज डिविजल बाई सिक्स सो टिल एस फाइव स्टेट्स वी विल हैव नाउ एस थ्री एंड अगेन एस नॉट एस वन एन फोर एस फोर वॉट वी हैव एस टू एस थ्री और एस फाइव वॉट वी हैव एस फोर एस फाइव बिकॉज इट इज डिजल वाइज सिक्स सो इट इज नॉट प्राइम नंबर दिस इज नॉट प्राइम नंबर बट सेवन वॉज प्राइम नंबर बट इट इज नॉट प्राइम नंबर सो देर आर सम रिपीटेशन ऑफ द स्टेट वी कैन क्लियरली सी वी कैन क्लियरली सी दैट दीज आर द स्टेट्स दीज आर द स्टेट विच स्टार्ट रिपीटिंग from here to here we can say the repetition is going on whatever we have here we st it is start again from here whatever we have here it is start from here again so why this happens it happens because 6 is also divisible by 3 6 is also divisible by 3 that's why here the states are repeated after some time so how many states we have we have six states but three are repeated so if we make a minimal dfa then how many states are required only three it say states are required this is the dfa in which we have six number of states but if we require or if we want minimal dfa so as we can clearly see here these states are repeated here so we can remove these three states and only three states are required to make a minimal dfa in which the numbers or we can say that except all binary number which are divisible by 6 this happens when the number is not prime because 6 is also divisible by 3 but if number is prime then it is not possible so we can clearly see here the number of states are 7 and there is no repetition of the states so we can say that dfa that accept all binary numbers which are divisible by which are divisible by n contain n states maximum maximum n states and by using minimization we can minimize it by using minimization we can minimize it so we can say if prime number then number of states n number of states n will be minimum as we have seen then it is 7 or we can say prime number then these are the minimum states but when it is not prime 6 then we can minimize it these are the maximum states so suppose instead of this if we have suppose is it uh, if we want to write it in the ternary form 
up till now we are writing in uh, binary form but if we want to write in ternary form if we want to write in ternary form the same example divisible by 5 divisible by 5 as we have seen in our last lecture it is a transition table for divisible by a 5 so it is for binary if we want to write it for the ternary form then how we can write it let's see 0 1 2 start with the initial state as not because it is also final state and this is initial state that's why we write star here so we start like s1 sorry s0 s1 s2 or s1 s3 s4 s0 or s2 s1 s2 s3 s3 s4 s0 s1 or s4 s2 s3 s4 so in that way we can write in binary then we can write in this way and for ternary so we can write like this this is also a transition table so with the help of transition table we can clearly see that how easy to understand it and how easy to write it for any binary number and we can construct a minimal DFA easily.